old acquaintance among the hidden tells me that a seraph complex recently powered on for the hello <laughs> one second Anna flagged the site as a potential pillory bunker. If the Vex gain access to its system, they'll use it to wrest Rasputin's submine data away from him. It would be catastrophic. Hello, hello. My name is Abyss Voice, and today I'm playing Destiny. And not only am I playing Destiny, I think today is going to be the first of the first of a new type of uh what's what would i call it basically i want to start helping people with stuff hello zagger so i think today what i'm going to do is i'm just going to help randoms with this dungeon because it's a pretty simple dungeon to help people with you don't necessarily need to have communications to do that Granted, though, these guys probably don't need too much help. But yeah. At some point, my goal is to start doing Sherpa-type stuff. But, hope everyone had a good weekend. Definitely had a relaxing final weekend. Not final weekend, but last weekend. Wow, but you didn't get me? Sorry. <laughs> Let's see what I want to use. Alright. Well. Alright, so basically, the main point of this dungeon is connect the wires. You have a bunch of yellow wires. And... You have to get a type of buff called Arctrician. And using Arctrician, you need to go and basically hit these little nodes to move the electricity through. See, we just heard a sound, and that was another player completing their uh, node. And that's literally the entire dungeon yeah and we're being chased by this bomb one and it killed me <laughs> but yeah this one is actually pretty simple it only takes a couple of plays playthroughs to learn it but it can get pretty chaotic. All right, so we're about to start the last one. It's unusual to see so divisive Vex outside the Black Garden. They're a fanatical sect. So basically, this is where we started. We'll be going up there now. That's our goal. Well, one of our goals. The Ishtar Collective in a Seraph complex. Peculiar. They were rivals in the Golden Age. This wasn't just a pillory site. It was a joint research facility focused on extrasolar <coughs> colonization efforts. Soul divisive. They've been scouring research logs. We're looking for something more than to imprison Rasputin submines. So basically, this happened, this dungeon happened during the Witch Queen. And basically, Osiris is trying to find, basically he's trying to find information about Neomuna. And he is hoping that we find that information here. And what this place is it's a place to trap war mines i believe it was actually used to trap a certain war mine that is known as the watcher a special war mine that was a uh made 
I think partially from a Vex mine, so or Vex tech, so it's kind of like a Vex. And it was able to use uh, the Vex tech to uh, perform simulations, very accurate simulations. And basically, its job was to perform simulations of people colonizing the galaxy of Andromeda, I think. And at some point, at first it said, like, there are, say, 300 safe routes found, okay? So there are 300, uh, 300 routes to where it could have led the colony ships or sent the colony ships to safely find a, a uh, place that they can colonize. But then one day it was like, it went from 200 to 5, and then it went from... Five to three, then two, then one. Basically showing that something's out there. And what this watcher was able to do is it actually was able to see, or it actually knew about the darkness. Like it could see the darkness doing something. And so it attempted to launch the colony ships right at that moment in order to save pe people. But Clovis Bray, this mad scientist, was too uh, prideful and decided to stop it because he believed that it was just short circuiting. So he forced the uh, war mine to stop. Also, I am. Uh, I have the cosmetics for the raid. I don't actually have the raid gear, it's just cosmetics for them because I learned how to do that. So. This is what my warlock looks like now. I actually think it's pretty cool. Alright. But yeah, these dungeons are like miniature uh, raids. They're kind of like half raids. The mechanics are often... They, they're like mi longer missions with actual mechanics, but the mechanics are pretty simple to learn. And there's no enrage uh, factor. The boss won't enrage after like three damage phases or damage runs. Alright, so we're on to the second encounter. The first encounter was getting into this area. The second one is climbing the, t the spire. And we have to climb the spire using these grav lift elevators, but we can only do that after we repower them reconnected them so you get arctrician by killing these minotaurs that spawn in and only by getting them anytime you shoot a node you get an extra 10 to 15 seconds see you can see from this little bit and already we have one player going to the right i'll go left and we just make a circle We have to do three rounds of this in order to move forward. These can get a little bit confusing at times, though. Hmm. All right. No. Where's the... Uh... See, at this point, I lost my Architrician because I wasn't fast enough. But I just killed a Conduit. Okay, yeah. I knew it was probably down there. Ooh. And there we have a grav lift active. And one thing about um, dungeons is there's really no like in raids. If you die, you have like a two minutes to revive the guardian that died. Otherwise, they're going to um, they're going to wipe the party. But in this one. In dun uh, for dungeons, 
the uh, the respawn time is 40 seconds, which is pretty long. Okay. I think there might be one over here. Yep. And one up here. One up here, and then finally, yep. This isn't really too bad, it's just it gets a little complicated, and sometimes the enemies could be a little bit overwhelming, but not too bad. All right. Okay, I'll go around and try to find the other one. Did they complete it all for me? Nope, they did not. Oh, yeah, they're starting to. Alright, so we've completed this encounter. Oh. Here we go. This is where we go. Alright. But this uh, scout rifle that I used, the long arm, is the uh, scout rifle you can get from this dungeon. It's pretty good. Alright. Let me switch. Alright. Switching to my solar bill. So now we reach the location of our first boss fight for this dungeon, which is only two. Alright, so one cool thing I like about this dungeon is that we are now on top of the spire. You can actually see uh, where you started from if you go and look over there. We were there, now we're up here. Alright, so this dungeon is actually pretty simple. You see how there's four... Kind of... Uh, four... Uh, what, what would I call these? Hallways or so. But at the end of each one is a... Uh, is a fuel rod. And what we have to do is we have to connect the power from the center to the very end. And once we do that to all four routes, okay, I guess I could call them routes. So you got four routes and you have to uh, connect the power to all four of them to complete the route. And once you complete the routes, the fuel rod would activate. See, uh, one fuel rod has been activated. And basically, we have three activated now. So now we're going to work on the last one. And once we're done with the last one, damage phase is going to start. So the boss is going to head towards the last one we activate. And it's going to start glowing, showing all of its eyes. And after we... What we have to do is we have to shoot the eyes. And once you shoot all the eyes, the main eye will pop up. And then we have to start shooting the main eye. See? So now we're going to start damage phase. And the boss is going to slowly move back.
Oh, I don't have the right, uh... I don't have the right grenade launcher. Okay. Switching guns. Honestly, these, this boss can be a little bit hard to do damage to. Probably should have just used my, um, sleeper simulator in the first place, but oh well. It's fine. Basically, we have to start and do that again. Okay, the lunch thing's gonna get me killed. Oh dear. <gasps> Darn it. How? <laughs> I fell right through the end, or fell right through the middle. So yeah. Honestly, there's really no worries about, um, uh, rushing this. You can really take your time to do, uh, to get ready for the damage phase and to actually damage. Does no one have arc? Okay. Guess no one has arc attrition. Ooh, yes, heavy. It's actually really good. So, yeah. Honestly, you really want uh, linears. For this, I am going to try out my rocket launch, uh, my grenade launcher build. All right. Going to throw some grenades to get rid of those goblins over there. It's unnecessary, but I want to. Deeper Simulus. So you don't really want to be too close to this boss because it will uh, do a pulse that will send you flying back depending on how close you are. Or just outright kill you. I guess I'll start on this one. Yeah, but at some point you start to uh, recognize like uh, the different routes and where the uh, and where their power parts are. Definitely took me a couple tries to uh, learn them all. All right, so we have one more, and I'm about to have my super again. All right. Oh, 
Mentors will always teleport when you throw a grenade at them. Yeah, honestly, the enemies in this get really overwhelming. Now we reach the point to where we only have, we don't have any heavy <laughs> and we're a third of a way. Ah, hello, Steph. Hey, chill. How's it going? And thanks for the raid, Steph. Hello. Did, were you able to beat, uh, the game Elden Ring? All right. Let's go. Hello there, Jory. Looks like everything's going perfectly right now. Looks like everything's going perfectly right now. Is something happening to, um... Is something wrong with the Destiny or Twitch or OBS or something? Because I know, like, one of my friends who was streaming earlier was having a lot of issues. <laughs> oh, dear. Hello, Steph. Were you able to beat, uh, Elden Ring? Did... Okay, they're still working on that. Hi, I'm finally here. Welcome. <laughs> yes, I did, finally. Thank you, sir. Good job. Yep, Twitch gave me a tough time. Haha. <laughs> oh, hey, Saru. <laughs> Welcome on in. So this is one of the dungeons I was talking about. The Spire of the Watcher, which honestly is not too hard. Thank you. So, you've already you play you've already played it and such, Steph. So I guess this one was a um, was a magic build. All right. It's crazy. Almost like I saw you earlier. Right. Any nope, we don't have it. Okay, we do not have it. Hopefully I can get some heavy from these guys. Come on. Nope. Uh come on, our hero. <laughs> yeah, magic build this time. First time was Dex Bleed Bill. This looks chaotic. Oh yeah, it is chaotic. Uh, this is the, this is like the halfway point in this dungeon, and this is the boss. Flawless dungeon run right here. Uh, we've already died, I think. <laughs> Alright. I don't have any heavy, sadly. Come on, kill it. Yes. All right. But I am running my Starfire protocol build. <laughs> you died, noob, get wrecked. You're only saying this because you, uh, because you're angry that I abandoned you, uh, for lack of better words. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always forget, like, where exactly. Okay. Dang, you beat it. Aha! Don't worry, the, the next boss is a little bit hard. But we gotta get through this, uh, next coming. Um, I'm not sure you call this an... Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if you can call this an encounter, per se. It's just, like, we gotta get through certain rooms. So, the mechanic of this dungeon is connecting powers to, uh... Wa uh... 
these wires and giving power to them by hitting these nodes. And this part introduces the red wiring. And so the red wiring are basically the same thing, except you have to hit the nodes fast, like these things pretty fast once you start. And we're trying to hit them so the door opens. And there we go. Have you tried trials this week, Abyssal? Ah, I, okay. So I know that there is this SMG that everyone wants. And I'm going to be honest, like I want the SMG, but trials. Oh no, I'm going to die. Oh no, no. Okay. Darn it. <laughs> uh, everyone died. Uh, but I know everyone wants to S the SMG, but I'm going to be honest. I am not a trials player. Gosh, I could have saved that. Next boss is a little hard. That's what she says. I mean, just wait till you see the boss. It's a giant wyvern. A uh, vex wyvern. Not an actual dragon, but I don't know why we call it that. Okay, let's try this again. Oh man, I could have saved the team, but I got too uh, scared. Where's another next one? Okay, see, so that was a case of we got we were too slow to do it. You don't want to know how much trial I played this week. <laughs> oh man, I mean, I could imagine like. I noticed that the titles of your stream this past weekend was like trial time. <laughs> Uh. Oh dear. Oh no, I'm alive. Oh, okay. Guardian. What we've seen here proves my visions have merit. Yeah. I've honestly been working on um getting my reputation up with all the uh factions. I've gone flawless six times this week. Oh my gosh. Good job on that. I've uh, I've honestly this weekend I've mostly focused on um, getting my reputation up with all the factions like Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit, uh, because I want to try to get that shader, or not shader, uh, but cosmetic for that glaive, because there's always a triumph or a challenge that has to do with that cosmetic, uh, for whatever we special weapon they have, and basically what I have to do is I have to prestige, twice. I mean, I don't think it's really it's called prestige, but that's basically what it is. I have to prestige twice with those two, uh, with those uh, factions. Oh my gosh! Aha! Not today. Oh, true rot brain. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Two brain rot hours. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, like. I know people are surprised when they... Oh, yeah, I've got the Crucible 1 this week from all the trials I read. Hey, I mean, that's the way to do it, though. Okay, this isn't going to... Yeah, that won't save me. Gosh darn. I get... The only thing I have about the Starfire Protocol build is that I'm so used to having a healing rift that I am dying a little bit more than usual. But I know people always say, like, get surprised when they hear this. Because I guess I don't, like, show it on stream. But I, I can rage. And nothing makes me rage like Trials of Osiris. <laughs> uh, okay. So they got these red things all on the walls. But there's one inside they have to watch out for. And then we got it. And now it's boss time. But for those who don't know, there's a secret chest under the stair. Oop, my bad. I think not the stairway 
Under one of the stairways is a secret chest. Honestly, I've already gotten this, so I don't think it drops anything for me this week, but the chest allows you to get a chance to get better stat items or better roll items. All right, and here we are. The final boss. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That was me this entire week. Okay. So basically, this boss mechanic, it goes as so. The boss is going to walk out. The door is going to close. We have to kill two Hydras, one on left, one on right. And once we kill the Hydras, Minotaurs will come in. And basically, you get the architrician from the Minotaur, and you shoot these red wires to open the door to the reactor. Once you open the door to the reactor, a bunch of the... There's going to be two of the yellow wires. They can either be all on one side or all on the other side or one on each side. And you, you lead them into the reactor room to set off the reactor. And once you set off the reactor, you need to run out of that room and then shoot the red wires again to close the door. But you need to make sure the boss is in there. And basically how you do that is you lead the is basically you lead the boss in here. It'll basically walk in if all your team is in here. A tip for survivability is these small doors will open so I could stay in here and not be attacked by enemies. But yeah, this boss is pretty strong. And it can take a while to kill. Okay, so Okay, so one is open on the left. We're going to have to do the one that's open on the right, which is this one. Supplicants are harpies that will blow up. They are a pain and a nightmare. Okay, this one's ready. I'm not going to shoot it until I see the... Yep, okay, boss is in. Okay, now we have to run out. Appreciate Bessie. I'm gonna have a little go cheering me on too. <laughs> All right. So it's inside. The door is gonna shut. Popping this shield. I'm gonna test out this uh um grenade launcher that I was able to make. Got auto holster, holster and explosive light. Probably shouldn't be dropping my thing. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I expected that to happen. I love this grenade launcher. Okay, it has a shield. Not as much damage as I would like to see. I love this grenade launcher. Oh, I totally forgot about my, uh, uh, wither. I love this grenade launcher, but it kills. It's very easy for me to get killed by it. I also forgot the fact that it's an auto loading one. I'm still getting used to this. <laughs> still getting used to using it. All right. Okay, doors are open. Haven't seen what it is. Cutest Drago pet. Gonna be cheering me on and hold little cups for bits. Huh. That sounds like an interesting thing. Yep. Okay. Is the boss in yet? Not quite. Yep. Okay, we can go out now. Don't 
Darn it, it always teleports. Okay, I was able to get it. Oh, I do not have my super. Uh, have a good night, everyone. Good luck with the Dungeons Abyssal. Thank you. Have a good night, too. Oh, uh, I don't... Yeah, we don't have... Okay, now we do. All right. There we go. This is what I'm supposed to do. There we go. All right. Much better damage. Because I actually use the switch method and throwing grenades. Ah, you hear them behind me. Ah, I lived. Oh dear. Oh dear. Wow, I'm gonna be honest. These things been dropping heavy ammo pretty consistently. Nope, not that time. Right. Oh, okay. They're both on left then. That's just the sound of a explosive harpy chasing me. Alright, we're just waiting for the boss to get in. Has walked in because of a flare. There, here it comes. Alright. Oh, I don't have it. Darn it. Okay, I guess it wasn't finished. Oh, well, that's fine. Alright, got a shot there. Here. Here. And finally here. Alright, now we can leave. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, we could finish it now. If this... Nice. <coughs> All right, now for the moment of truth. This was a clever incision by the witness. Let's give a multi front attack. Accommodation. Now for the moment of truth. My damage. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Whoever this guy was wasn't really using anything to hurt. Wait, no, he was using a div. Never mind. Never mind. But two million and five hundred thousand points of damage. I think that's pretty good. Double sidearms, hopefully they're good. Let's see. Okay. Aggressive tech stock balance. I think every surrounded uh like lists. Hmm. Quick draw. Uh, all right i'm gonna be honest not sure if what i got are pretty good i don't know maybe the surrounded perk might be good damaging targets while firing from the hips increase handling reload speeds and movements while aiming down sight quick draw this weapon can be draw unbelievably fast all right well now we can go and uh, as i've said Basically, I'm just going to use, I'm just going to help people with this, uh, with this 
dungeon. So let's try to find another one. Okay, that one's already full. Oh, Steph. Uh, if no one... Okay, just people trying to look for boss checkpoints. Huh. I'm back, welcome back. Just having a little bit of a breather or break before our next um, dungeon. Okay. Hopefully I get... Thank you. <laughs> Uh, all right. So basically, I'm just using the Destiny app to uh, find people who are trying to do this dungeon and helping them with it. And honestly, that's what I did to get my accommodation up really high. And like, I like this dungeon. You can do it fast if you uh, got what it takes. Also, my light level is really high because of all my um, power. <laughs> My, uh, season level 94. I've got a few gear that are already a, uh, 1810. So close to getting more, uh, so close to getting them all 1810. Which that is the max light gear you can get. Which, I'm gonna be honest, the method for light grinding works very well. Like, it's always been like a struggle for me to get this high, but this one is this time this season. I'm already like right at the cusp, right within the. This is like the third week of the season, isn't it? Yeah, this is like the third week. Never happened before. Yeah. So this is what my strand build looks like. I got three arms. Oh, no, I got five arms. Uh, I, I, I know a lot of people are a little iffy about the done or about the new raid armor, but I actually like it. And it's not the actual armor. I'm just using the cosmetics, but I like it. It looks fun. It looks neat. Hold on. Where's the other guy? Oh, well. There they are. So yeah, I will say this is probably one of my favorite dungeons because it's it's fun. It's the mechanics are simple, but still engaging. And it feels nice when I actually know what to do. Sorry. Moving around a bit. Alright, there we go. But yeah, I really like this long arm because I have a um I have a perk where it gives me ammo when I kill an enemy. And so with certain enemies, I never have to reload. Okay. I think the next one's actually... Wait. Let me be sure. Up here. Yep. Alright, one down. I think this next one starts in here, I think. Okay, they're either working on it or finished it. Ah, I see. It's this one. But I do need our Catrician. 
You. I'm over here. Oh, I forgot I'm not a solar build. <laughs> right now. Yeah, this one goes like underneath. I hear you. And I lived. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah. These supplicants were a nightmare back in uh back in the Vault of Glass days. Oh, someone didn't finish this one either. Now they did. Nice. Yeah, so the other Vex are still, um, bad, I guess. <laughs> well, I mean, they keep trying to kill us, but the Soul Divisive are an actual, like, hey, we like the darkness. <laughs> they basically believe that, hey, in order to survive what's coming, we need to align ourselves with the Witness. Ooh, are they using the Firefox? Or not Firefox. Two tail fox. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Firefox for that uh rocket launcher. It's not an internet browser, it's a rocket launcher. Two tail fox. Alright. There's actually two uh secret chests in here, and one of the secret chests is in this part. Oh yeah. Look up. Uh, basically, it's on the other side of that column. Once you make it all the way over there, you just ho uh, hop around, go across that walkway, and it should be on the other side there. Oh. Yeah. It is... Huh. What is the word I'm trying to say? It's a long jump, but I realize that there's an actual way to do it, which is jumping to there. Used to, I'd use a uh, heat rises to go to that. Wow. Wow. No. Nah. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, shame. All right, where am I going? Right there. Okay. So, I don't think doing dungeons or raids raise your reputation for anything. I wish it did it for the Vanguard. I don't believe it does for the Vanguard. Because if it does, that'd be great. Because, like, I like the Vanguard ops, and I like the Vanguard missions, but it's tiring go doing them over and over and over again. So yeah, if I wanted to get the chest, i just fly around here. Fly around here. There's a little walkway, and you can see it over there. Right there. Just hop onto there like this person's doing, and then go to it. Which they're already about to go up the elevator. Yeah, I'll be honest, when I first did this uh, dungeon with my uh, friends, they definitely had to carry me through it because I didn't know where any of the uh, wiring nodes were. Oh yeah, but... This is a sad note, but last week, uh, the voice actor for Zavala, the Vanguard Titan, sadly passed away, and he's, uh, I believe his name is, Lan or was Lance Reddick, and he's actually quite 
a popular voice actor and i i feel really sad about it because like i started getting really getting into like the other stuff he does i mean i played this game for many years but like this year has been really the only one where i've like oh hey so this guy voices him because of all the tiktok clips i've been seeing but it's sad and i've been seeing a lot of people hating uh poor guy yeah like god i love his voice i don't know some voices just like they're really nice and he had a really nice voice but there's been a bunch of like guardians uh going to the tower and holding like a a vigil in honor of him because he was very big in the destiny community as well like people would write uh would write things uh and he would say it in zavala's voice uh and he was just a very funny individual yeah <laughs> how does that work but yeah Gosh darn it. Yeah, and it, and like, the word got out pretty fast. Because I learned about it like 40 minutes after it actually happened. But in uh, to change the topic from the somber news, how has everyone's day been? I feel like I haven't asked that quite yet. I had a decent day going back to school, doing usual school stuff. And by school, I mean work, <laughs> doing usual work stuff. Uh, have you started? Nope. Nope. New guy you see messed up my chicken wrap. Ooh. Not the chicken wrap. Yeah. Mine's pretty good, thank you. I just got an oil change then stream. Ah, nice. Yeah. I gotta say, I started having to do that for my own car as well. Not like chain me changing it, but me taking it to get changed. The guys over at the oil place are nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, Zagger. Like once, all that once like, uh, COVID hit, the food options at the place you're talking about they changed they changed there you are I think we're almost done with this one the girl was grumpy in the morning then fine after I'm gonna be honest like out of all the times to be grumpy the morning is probably like a time I could put I, depending on what they do, I could potentially forgive someone for being grumpy. Like, I understand. You could, like, the amount of kids I had to, like, ha uh, wake up today was unreal. Because they're all tired. They don't want to be at school. <laughs> and they keep complaining about it. Honestly, whenever they say I'm whenever they say that they are tired, I just say we're all tired, <laughs> but we're all here. So let's have a good day. Gosh, but I need to start drinking like coffee or something to wake me up because like all I'm doing is re relying on my own self to wake up. It's not so bad because when I get to school and when I give my kids, I actually take them to their activity time, which is like PE or music or art or um, computers. 
I actually get to take them to their activity at 8.30 and I get them at 8.10 because my plan time where I can, you know, plan or get grading done or do other stuff is from, uh, is from 8.30 to 9.30. So that little bit of time allows me to kind of wake up and get ready for the day. It was cold, rainy, and Monday morning, so I could relate to home homegirl. Yeah, as long as it's, like, not... As long as they, they're not, like, aggressively grumpy. If they're just, like, in a bad mood, that's understandable. Woo! But let me tell you, this, uh... Was it Sunday? Yeah, it was Sunday. I did the R Root of Nightmares raid uh, with randoms, and... We had to replace one guy, and the guy they replaced him with was very, very rude. Like, that was my first time I've ever had a bad experience with a, a random using that looking for group, uh, Discord group. Because usually everyone there is are pretty chill. Like, we understand the mission. We're here to do a mission, a game, for either two to three hours, and we're gonna be stuck with each other. So let's make it enjoyable. This guy, oh no. He was the, come on, it's so easy, or why are we wiping? Come on. Even though the reason why we wiped is because another guy kept on getting disconnected. Because Destiny wouldn't work. But yeah. He left right after the encounter too. I got it. Was he upset that you didn't have 20 plus runs? Probably. Like, yeah, like, seriously, this guy, like, one of our... It might have been, like, the, the leader of the group mess chat. Uh, the Discord group message. He got disconnected twice, and the guys, they're like, Come on, guys, this is the easiest encounter in the raid. I can't, like, what's the problem? What's going on? And also, the type to blame damage pro uh, di uh, people on low damage, even though, like, he had the lowest damage numbers of the group. But yeah, the Root of Nightmares was actually messing up quite a bit. Like, there were two times on the third encounter with the uh, planet boss where we should have hit its uh, final stand. But for some reason, it, it messed up and wouldn't activate final stand. So we would, we'd have to wipe. Okay. Let me actually do this decent now. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think these are good uh, stacks. All right. Uh, Starfire build, but sniper and sleeper. Okay. Rune of Nightmare has bugs. Yeah, you didn't know. No, those aren't bugs. They're features. <laughs> okay. I don't know what it's doing to this thing. All right. We're gonna wait here until someone is ready and just start shooting. They are features. Dude, I'll be honest, like, I understand this. I, from what I gather, this raid was a lot better compared to, uh, it, not better as in like entertainment wise, but in connection wise, because the Vow, Vow Disciple had people getting like, you know, the Anteater error or something. Uh, but like there is still a bunch of bugs with this one the bug that upset me the most with root of nightmares is the uh is for is the second encounter bug where you complete the route and you get ready to kill the enemies that spawn oh but your ward of darkness or light isn't there that's dumb like surely they play tested the the raids right like surely they did that so why did they... Uh, did they not notice that bug happening? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, no, we have one. I don't think they did. They need to. <laughs> they need to hire... Or, nah, well, I mean, I guess you'd hire. But they need to have, like, gamers test it out. But I guess they don't really want to because, like, they... Maybe they don't want, um the secrets of the raid getting out 
And I'll say this, my overall opinion of Ruta Nightmare. A lot of people have issues with it because it's supposedly too easy or the mechanics are too simple. And I'll admit, yeah, I can kind of understand. I will say it has probably the most simplest uh, mechanic that any raid has and the boss health is nothing. That is all right with me as long as they make sure that um, as long as they make sure that uh, the last raid, whatever, if it's the one that we're going to fight the... You had it? Oh my god. Why didn't... Mm. <laughs> yeah, plenty of counters tough, but like, oh, uh, but whenever you really get to it, the mechanics aren't that bad aren't that um confusing but um uh why do that the communities the community are the play testers that's true but yeah, it's just like whatever raid that's gonna have the witness, like the final raid of Destiny 2, that needs to be the hardest. It needs to be the most difficult one that they can make. Because if they come out with another easy one and it's the last raid, oh, that's gonna be such a disappointment. I need to kill Minotaur. All right, Zagger, I have a question for you. So, do you think that for the um, for the planning encounter that the uh, ad clears are the sole people responsible for the Centurions that pop up? Because remember, you got to kill the Centurions in order to get those uh, Colossus out. Or do you think that should be like a, an entire fire team type of thing? I don't know. All right. I leave for five minutes. You already back here? Like I said, I am just going to help people out, uh, help people with this one. <laughs> but honestly, I've yet to get a team that where it's actual like, oh, hey, we're going to carry you or I'm going to carry you because these guys, these guys know what they're doing. Oh, wait, they have a tower over there. Oh, darn it. I thought they didn't. Okay. I believe it should be ad clear's job. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's just say uh but it seems just whoever gets to it first. Well, my thing is it's like those colossus don't spawn in until the Soterios are dead, so the people on the plates could also help. Because, like, a couple of people in that team were getting pretty upset that I wasn't killing the things fast enough. And I will admit, I was not go gunning for them specifically. So once they made known those complaints, I started doing it. Oh my gosh, this guy's like getting right up in this thing's business. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. Ah. Uh.
If only one of these things dropped heavy ammo. But yeah, as I said, whatever they come up with as the uh, the final raid for Destiny needs to be a little bit more challenging, and then all will be well. Oh, I did get it. <gasps> Darn it. Oh, I lost my boost. Okay. Uh, I guess we just sit back and relax. Take a drink of water. Ah, here we go. My savior. Ooh, is that heavy? Aha. They need to make the raid to where world first takes more than three hours to beat. Yeah, like I said, the mechanics of this one were really, really simple. And I, I'm going to say this again. I don't mind it being simple, but whatever they come up for the last one needs to be a little bit better. Like, like last wish style mechanics. Only one. Come on. Oh, darn it. I don't have my super. Oop. Here we go. I still haven't done that raid legit. I mean, given that you have the, um, um, the cheese for it, like, I wouldn't. <laughs> no. Maybe one day we need to try to actually do it legit, but not today. <laughs> I need to switch to um, something that'll do damage without a uh, heavy. All right, you come over here. I think this is probably the last one. I mean, I hear someone doing another one. Good luck finding a group for that. Oh, yeah. Like I say, I know I say that, but probably won't. I just find it interesting how that's the only raid where it's like, once you actually beat the boss, you're not done. Like, you still got to uh, take the heart of Ribbon. To um, now you drop heavy ammo. You have to take Riven's heart to uh, the uh, bowl. Darn it. Play Destiny, play Eclipse to fall off. Ooh. Gosh dang it. To be honest. <gasps> no. Stay alive, my friends. Stay alive. <laughs> hey, we got it. Wow, we wait. How? 
I mean, I'm not complaining, but nice. Yeah, that was cool. I mean... Yeah. I'll be honest, this um what's this gun called? Trust? Yeah, trust. This trust hand cannon. I have had it for a while and it's got now oh, Envious Assassin seems pretty good, but it does have golden tricorn, so I'm not gonna dismantle this one. <laughs> uh but yeah, they Yes, there are definitely lots of cliff for you, cliffs for you to fall off, Steph. But they did make it to where collision damage doesn't automatically kill you. Maybe assassin is a good, really good perk. Definitely a top uh, option. All right, then I'm glad I have a good, uh, a good roll in this gun that I've had for. I think I've had this one for a while. I that already recently picked it up from all my gambit playing. Probably another one. Oh man, why not? I don't have architrician, so I can't help. There you go. I shall guide you through the ways of the destiny brain rot. Dude, I watched I watched this one clip on TikTok where it's about like basically people in like a a self-help group for destiny addicts <laughs> wow oh i can all right and it's just it's just very funny wait i fully expected to die here this is a safe spot okay sign me up for that group <laughs> yeah one guy was like I, it was like, I haven't played for two month, months, but Zer, I heard Zer was selling Icebreaker. <laughs> it's just like, oh gosh, that sniper rifle. I miss that sniper rifle. You need this. We can make that brain rock group. Ah, power bonus. Nice. I'm even stronger now. Um, Zagger, chill. Do you guys know, like, what's the next uh, raid rotation is going to be? I know for Pinnacle, I know it'll probably stay on the Root of Nightmare since that's, like, you know, the new one. My guess is it's going to be a uh, Val Disciple. Something just, I just, I don't know, something makes me fear. Uh, probably Val, yeah. Which I'm going to be honest, like Val, oh, that's a, that's a raid that really intimidates me. Okay, there's the Minotaur. Oh, Vault of Glass, okay. Vault of Glass. <laughs> I like that raid, but it traumatized me, Destiny 1. The sounds of... The sounds of the... Uh, oracles are enough to make me break out in a sweat. That'll be fun. That will be fun. Yeah. Which, granted, like, the last time we did Vault of Glass, our mistake was trying to 5-man Atheon. And we just didn't have the survivability or the damage to do it. it. Wasn't until we got the other person to help us out that we were able to do it. Alright, now that I know that that's a whole... Stop, stop, stop. Now that I know that that's a safe spot. From above. Ah. 
Little tip for you about Atheon. All right, let me hear it. I can take any tip. Okay, I walked into that one. Uh, I walked into that one. Alien takes more dance from abilities. See, yeah. I've heard about like that in terms of the supers, but honestly, the Starfire protocol build would probably be a great build for that. Darn it. Thank you. That's what she said. Okay. Hey, <laughs> those supers and grenades do more damage than heavy weapons will. Okay. Well, I definitely have the build for that now. I really do need to get a void build going, though. I've yet to do that. I've got one for strand, got one for solar. I need one for void now. Okay, where's the Minotaur? <laughs> oh, never mind. You did it. Okay. I mean, I, I like the pool, but are we going to wipe? Yeah, we're wiping. My friend, hug me. Hug me. All right. I'm just a poor... Poor warlock trying to make friends. But they won't. They won't accept me. Right. Begin with the other strats. This time I'll actually do the... Switching damage, uh, or the, you know, auto load, which... I got the catalyst for Wither Horde last week, I think. So, yeah. This is going to kill me. Oh. Safety doors. Open. Come on. Yes. Hi. Right. Oh, I didn't even get it. Darn it. <laughs> right. Now I have it. Let's see. Is it both this side? Nope. going in just did my taxes today I'm gonna get I'm gonna upgrade my server I'm excited well good is this that time of the year <laughs> okay got a little lost No, don't touch him. All right. Oh dear. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Uh, where's the last one? Okay. Ooh. Ah. All right. Why are you going all the way up there? Ah. 
I like this grenade launcher, but there's a problem with how much it explodes and kills me. I'm afraid for when the his face is made. All right, all right. Don't know what type of pay that is. <laughs> Uh. Okay. The only thing that could per that could perfect this build with this gun is if this gun, uh, well, I mean, of course it explodes their grenade launchers, but it has like, I don't know, if there's anything in front of me, like a enemy or an ally, it explodes on them and often ends up killing me. I don't like that. Oh, the doors are already open. Okay. These guys keep doing things like without, without my knowledge of it's nice. The pay is good pay. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, let's see. The inside. Let's run out. Seek shelter. Seek safety. All Okay, seven charges of explosive light. Good. Oh, darn it. I keep trying to make new outfits for my V-Roid, but I don't know what to make, so I close it. You got a lot of outfits, though. You definitely got a lot. A lot more than I do. I need to start trying to make another one. I like this one, but I must spice things up. Not in that way, though. Not in that way. Poor choice of words. I meant Pat. Autocrat is great. Come on, blow up. Eh. Okay, I can't hit anything, but I can still... Ah, I helped. <laughs> you should make more outfits. I don't know, I got kind of traumatized. <laughs> no. I got kind of traumatized when an outfit that I wanted to try out turned to be out to be a tube top for my life. Not an actual tube top, but all I got from it was something that looked like a tube top. Alright. Alright, boss is in, boss is in. Oh, I don't even have... I don't even have Arctrician. I don't know how to word by, think of how to... Uh. They're planning. They're scheming. Christian. Is it inside? No, it went outside. Stop, stop, stop. Don't you dare. Psst. Don't do it. All right, you. Ah, heavy. I can help you if you need it for outfits, even Riff. We got you. All right, thank you. Is it inside? Yes. Start it.
Come on. All right. This will be the last damage phase. Hopefully. I'm gonna be honest, I've gotten used to, I'm getting more used to the, uh, Starfire Protocol build, and I am enjoying it. Alright. The, what did I get? Aiming downside decreases body shot damage, decreases target. Slowly reloads itself over time, up to its, ah, I think I'm gonna keep this one. Ah, that's interesting. Lock, right? What uh, what other animated emotes can you make, Bestie? I'm gonna be honest. And speaking of animated emotes, I think since I did pass a certain uh, like number of subs, I can get gut shot is trash. Ah, okay, never mind. <laughs> no, I need to see my damage. I need to see my damage. No, darn it. Okay. I'm sure I had high damage. All right. Sorry, gun. You're getting destroyed. <laughs> but speaking of animated emotes, I need to get another... I need to get an animated emote made. That has to do with eyebrows being raised. Because I really do like the emote that is just a person raising eyebrows okay all right probably have time for one more vessel wants this yes i basically want that except me Like, that is, like, the perfect emote. Ah, uh, no. Definitely need to start trying to get... I'll ask Julia how she made it. If you can find that out, I will be forever in your debt. <laughs> An old acquaintance among the hidden uh, auto rifle. tells me that a Seraph complex recently powered on for the first time since the collapse. Shortly thereafter, Vex incursions were reported. Anna flagged the site as a potential pillory bunker. If the Vex gain access to its systems, they'll use Oops. it to wrest Rasputin submine data away from us. It would be catastrophic. I'll say I really do like Wither Horde. It is a very good... It is a very good, uh... Grenade launcher. Which wasn't too long ago that I got it. From the, uh... Exotic thing in the tower. Yeah, but I'm gonna be honest, I love playing Warlock, but I do wish I can try out other supers other than, uh, Well. Well of Radiance. It's kind of a, it's kind of a necessary thing as a Warlock to run it, unless there's other people who run it. All 
All right, let's turn. Let's change it up a bit. Let's go to another. Go to this one to do. Now this one starts, you have to go through a tunnel and come back out here where the starter is right here. Wait. I guess since the, uh, I guess either I didn't actually step into the Arctrician stuff or the Minotaur. Or the Minotaur die too high off the ground. Oh, where's another one? There's one. Two. Don't kill me. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. They've already started this one. You know, for... Hey, I'm gonna help out. Not really helping this time. <laughs> See, my belt handed to me this time, I am. Alright. Now, I do wonder <laughs> why we didn't get a dungeon for Lifefall. Is this something we're going to get like later on the season? Or maybe there'll be a season of Defiant Dungeon like later on uh, as time goes on. I wonder who would get the jammies. That's a fun emote. You start setting up. I mean, like, I do have better Twitch. The better Twitch TV emote stuff for, like, myself. I need to find out how to, like, uh, get it for, you know, like... Hey, this emote is available in my uh, stream, or this one, or this one, or this one. Oh gosh, that guy. I think they're... Yo, that would be so cute. Shh. Welcome to the good idea place. This is a place where people make good ideas. <laughs> Go, my threadlings. Oh, that actually scared me a bit. <laughs> that actually did scare me a bit.
darn it. The other guy came up. Uh, and they Mario'd me down. No, okay, we're both just... I'm gonna let them go first. Now I go. Now I go. I should make a fiver. But besties get free emotes. <laughs> I mean... That is a good skill to have to do. And a good job done. Deserves good pay. I'll say, I need to, like, I need to use Fiverr again. Like, that's what I use to make my, uh, emotes in the first place, or commission someone to make my emotes in the first place. Which, I do like my emotes, so I may use them again. A race. A race to see who gets it first. Alright, this guy got it. I'm gonna go help the other guy. Ah. Right, and we go up. <coughs> oh, I will say, probably uh, Thursday will be when you see me playing uh, Evil Within again. I'll probably play Destiny again tomorrow, starting off the new Pinnacle uh, we week. Really? I ran out? Oh my gosh. Alright, here we go. Finishing it up. Ah. Okay. Guess I need to go and finish this one. So, the reason why this weapon is level 52 is because I mainly used it also during a time where I was farming for Neomuna red borders using the little 
Uh, I don't know what how you would call it. I'm not sure if it's a bug, but uh, when you complete a when you complete a overload, if you quickly drive out of the area with your sparrow and immediately come back, you can hit the public chest, not the one that, not the one you need um um. Not the one that you need... What's it called? The keys for. The overload keys. But the one... Uh... That anybody can pick up. Now, granted... I tried that to, um... To farm for red borders. Because the video that I watched on how to get Neomuna red borders... Said that that was a method. But I did not get a single border. Oh! Zagger, I didn't even realize he did the hi hydrate six minutes ago. All right, there we go. But um, the uh, I didn't get a single red border from the ch the chest. The only times I got red borders were doing those gold uh public uh patrols or not public patrols but patrols. And also ah. Uh... Well, looks like we're starting this without any weapons, ammo. I mean, I have weapons and ammo. You don't. <laughs> and also giving a wipe. All right. Waste of a raid banner. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> How many do I have anyways? Oh, 60. Okay, I saw these and thought, but well, that's spoil of conquest. All right. Yeah, you get too close to the boss and it's going to start everything. Okay, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. I hope that other guy was able to rally. Alright, that's one that's gonna be the one we do damage on. Or at. Oh, you started it before we were all. Wait. Was that all of them? Yep, that was all of them. And the boss just knocked me. I'm. S Good thing I have Icarus Dash. You, you need to have a good, like, ranged weapon to get take care of these harpies because they love to fly around the area. Roll for a character on Counterside and I actually got her without going to pity. Oh, nice. I'm going to be honest, I haven't touched Counterside in, like, two to three weeks. <laughs> I need to, though. I know, be disappointed. <laughs> be shocked. 
I'm gonna be honest, you can partly blame Destiny for it. Cause like that used counter side used to be my game that I would just play uh to enjoy some game time while listening to uh streams and such. Now it's counter side. Or now it's Destiny again. Did you just activate my Okay. I almost said some <laughs> gosh. I'm so conscious of what I say now. Can okay. I'm so conscious of what I say now. Seriously, that other guy's not even gonna be ready for damage phase. Like. It's a little annoying that this guy keeps on setting it off. Why is that? Because I was about to say something that in context made sense in the game, but it taken out of context was, uh, was no good. Okay. And I caught myself before I said it. And I have you, Steph, and Zagger to thank for, uh, me watching what I say. <laughs> you all did this to me. <laughs> Okay, we got two more. I'm not going to start on this next one until they're done with this tower. I know what you're talking about, Abyssal. Alright, do the innocent act. Woo. Really like this uh, hand cannon. Okay, now let's r rush to the other <laughs> I'm kidding I know my mind is dirty <laughs> suspicious glare rushing to this tower before uh, the other guy sets it off before we're ready like that <laughs> I don't have any stay back here so I don't die all right switching to oh my gosh I need to stop accidentally dropping my controllers that one was here that grenade was a waste
Uh, I thought it had a grenade on him. Oh, well. There we go. And I killed myself with it. Great gameplay. this the last one nope that's not the last one we still got two more which granted i am gonna try to get a super back hopefully Got it. All right, they got that person. Ooh, I... Okay. Did not mean to do that. I didn't shoot the final one. I shot the lot this one. Oh, well. What are you doing? It's over here. Finally. Uh. The bosses aren't too much of a problem in this, but they can definitely take a bit to, to kill. Definitely can take a while to take out. Come on. There we go. Psst. Wait, did someone die? Or no, that was just someone in pain. what I want. I see. Up here. used to the door opening would just outright kill the player i think it got fixed since now collision damage doesn't kill the guardian automatically which people think the one of the reasons why they changed that oh dear is because um there's a part in the raid where the guardians have to use man like launchers to go to certain areas so Makes it less likely that the launchers are gonna just kill you. A frail thing. Still annoying though. Much as our mission, if this can restore her faith in me. I need this. Ah. It worked. This one, this section can be sped through pretty fast. Not really an encounter because you don't get a chest at the end of it unless you want to count the uh, secret chest. But if you do die, if, no, if you do die, 
way. No, I can't. I can't save him. Yeah, I'll die. If everybody dies, they have to, um, they have to start all over from the top. Even if they're on the third and final level. over from the top yikes yeah there's like you have to go through two of those fan little rooms and three of these rooms i keep forgetting that's not a healing rift it's an empowering rift so if everybody okay this guy should be able to respawn by now though so everybody dies y'all dirty we be tubers y'all are dirty no <laughs> kidding Lockdown fail. Alright. Uh, I guess that person's just waiting. No. There they are. I keep forgetting about Icarus Dash. I've never really used it before. And now that I'm actually doing a build with it, I need to remember that I have it. I can levitate. Okay, this time I'll try to check my damage before we are unceremonious. Long word. Before we're kicked out of the game. Guess we are ready. All right. <laughs> Go. Oh. One left, one right. for uh okay the boss is in like I hope the boss is in because if you if the boss isn't inside by the time the reactor goes off you basically have to start over on the damage phase preparation ooh that's a nice that's a nice heavy block right there
See, I almost died because I was a little too close to my ally right there. Oh, I guess I picked up... Nope, the block is over there. Right by the boss's feet. I grab it, the boss will probably step on me. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? My heavy. Is that more heavy over there? Nice spot. Yes. Nice. Okay, this next time his face is going to be a lot of damage. Ho ho ho. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Huh. Just waiting for the boss to smite me. Sorry, I don't know why, but I have the hiccups. Oh my gosh. I have all my ammo back. Crazy. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh, I don't have oh, I don't have Arctrician. Oh, save the damage phase. Nice. Oh my gosh. That was clutch right there. Woo! Nice bit of damage. I always have the stream hiccups. I really have hiccups on a normal basis. It's just whenever... It all, and it seems to always happen when I'm streaming. Ooh, is that heavy over there? Wow. I'm getting definitely... I, I wonder if one of these uh, players have um, the ammo finder on. Yeah, this guy must have an ammo finder on because I've been getting a whole lot of ammo. Jeff always has the hiccups. The streamers hiccups. Okay, none of them are on this side. Ooh, almost fell through. Wait, is it done? All right, it's worth it. Don't have super, but there is another warlock. Why are we getting so close? results okay okay a clever incision by the witness multi-front attack sabotages clean knowledge didn't even see what i got annihilate any trace of advantage aerosol and vorpal weapon solar colonies <laughs> hmm. ages ago a saint and i thought we'd leave the city once we'd made it safe We'd explore the universe. All right. That time never came. A matter of wait for accommodations to be received. The margins, then. Grenade. Grenade. Now, there's only the ones of more. Okay, I've got to my accommodations. So we learn to make do, young 
Uh, all right, I gotta hop out and get some rest for work. Have a great stream, Bissell. Good night, everyone. Well, good night, chill. Thank you for coming on by. Have a good day at work. I think that it is also time for me to hop out and start getting ready to uh, turn in for the night because I am back to work this week. <laughs> uh, no, it's all good. But I hope everyone has a good uh, rest of their night. I hope everyone has a good uh, Tuesday. I'll be back tomorrow for more Destiny as I start. Um, I saw that before. It did it. <laughs> you didn't scare me this time. But uh, I'll be on tomorrow to start off the uh, pinnacle or the reset weekly reset of Destiny. Getting the last few bits of 1810 pinnacle gear that my warlock needs. Hopefully I get lucky with the drops and they're not armor that I already have. But I hope everyone has a good uh, Tuesday and I'll see you later. Goodbye.